All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Q. I got another video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be talking about why every producer should be using samples. So there's a select few out there. You guys know who I'm talking about that for some reason think that samples are a bad thing in the producing community, which I really don't understand because in my opinion, all you're doing is you're collabing with another producer and creating something that have never been created. So in my mind, it's a really good thing. But for some reason, some people think it's lazy and people will say that you're a bad producer if you can't make your own samples. But I don't really see how that's even a thing. Another reason samples are really good is because if you're using samples, this means you're making beats 10 times as quick. So you're going to be catching placements much easier if you have more beats. But anyways, enough talking for me. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your own samples and then I'm going to make a beat with one of my own samples. All right, so this is a technique that you've probably seen everywhere on YouTube. A lot of producers use the same technique, but I'm just going to be showing you guys my twist on it and the way that I do it myself. So to start out, when I make samples, I like being in a much lower BPM, like a halftime speed. So anywhere from like 60 to 90, probably going to go for like 66, 67 for this one. The reason I do this is I just feel like it gives me more control when I'm making melodies, especially when I'm uh, clicking in in the piano roll. So the whole idea of a sample is it's supposed to be a melody that came from some sort of real instrument or like an analog synth, something that was actually played. So the key is you're trying to make something that sounds as least robotic as possible. So what I'm gonna do is load one of my favorite plugins. It's called Analog Lab 3. Analog Lab is supposed to replicate some of the most famous synth gear, such as like the Prophet and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start by going into this piano category and clicking piano grand and just using one of these uh, simple pianos, like a, maybe a large studio. Another tip I got for you guys is always make sure you're using scales. I mean, you have like a very large amount of different scales you can use and each one create a, can create a different feel for you. So, you know, explore your scales. So what I'm gonna do is go into D sharp minor harmonic. The minor harmonic scale kind of gives you like a darker, like Travis Scott kind of vibe. So I'm going to be trying to create something along the lines like that. I'm going to start out by clicking in a bass line. All right, so I like that. I might change it later, but for now, that's what I'm gonna work with. So I'm gonna add some more filler melodies.
All right, so I like how this sounds so far. So what I'm gonna do to make this sound a little bit more realistic is hit Alt S on my keyboard, which is gonna strum all the notes. I'm gonna make it pretty strong. And when you strum, always make sure you click Preserve End so you don't get overlapping notes. Then just click Accept. Then I'm also gonna hit Alt R to randomize the velocities. You can control it right here. Always click Bipolar, otherwise you're gonna get them to go just up or down, so you want them to go in random directions. And I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit, maybe change the seed, yeah, that looks good. And let's see what that sounds like. All right, I actually like that a lot. What I'm gonna do is copy the bass notes and highlight them and then shift click them. This will copy them and then hit control down arrow to bring them down a whole octave. And then I'm also going to hold Alt on my keyboard and scroll down to bring the velocity down on that, just to add a little bit more bass. Alright, so now I'm going to try and find some more synth sounds. So I'm going to duplicate the Analog Lab and just copy the melody over into the plugin and try and find something that I like. So I'm going to hit control C, control V, then solo the new one and try and find some cool sounds. Alright, so I like the way those two sound together. I just added like a Rhodes piano in the Analogs Lab. It's called Mini Rhodes. But I'm going to go ahead and try and run some effects on these just to make it sound a little better. Alright, there we go. So that's sounding a lot better. It's sounding pretty cool already. But I'm going to try and find a lead, maybe a bell or a flute, something like that. And I'm going to add a little melody over top. And then I'll show you guys the rest of the, rest of the process.
Okay, so I like how this sounds. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually make it sound like an actual sample and how to sample yourself. What I want to do is drag the whole pattern into the playlist. Right click the pattern and click split by channel. This will separate them all. Just drag them out like this. And then what we're going to do is try and find a decent arrangement and then render that out as an audio clip. Alright, so I like how this is arranged, so what I'm going to do is go onto my master channel, add an instance of Edison, change it to on play, click record, and then go here and click play. Alright, so now go back into Edison, end the recording, click the left arrow on your keyboard twice and delete the second part of it, and drag this back into the playlist. Delete all these, I'm also going to go and turn down all the mixer tracks just because there's a little bit of noise coming from the I believe the what's it called Abbey Abbey Rhodes vinyl so I'm gonna turn all those down and I'm also going to turn all the plugins down and then now I'm gonna show you guys how you can mess with this a little bit so first thing I'm gonna do is go and add a fruity slicer like pretty much everyone does and drag this into fruity so drag it into Fruity Slicer, go in right away and click by beat, bring the attack up a little bit, and already this will sound a lot more like a sample. Alright, go into pattern mode. Make sure you go into pattern mode as well. I'm actually going to do every half beat just to make it a little faster. So that already has like some of that bounciness, which uh, bringing the attack up is actually what makes it sound a lot more bouncy. So what I'm going to do now is bring the pattern, which pattern is it? I believe it's this pattern right here. I'm going to bring this back in here and I'm going to go back into Edison and just record that again. So I'm going to delete this one, hit record and play it and then record that as an audio clip. Alright, so I got the loop in here now, and first thing I'm going to do is bring the BPM down to the actual BPM, which is 67. And then I'm also going to pitch this down like 300 semitones, so it was in D sharp. So that'll bring it to C. Actually, I'm going to try 400 to bring it down to B. Let's see what this sounds like. Alright, so I actually, I like this, and I'm actually going to delete the second part where it's just the piano without the lead. I'm going to cut these two in half, and just, um, okay, this is messing up. I don't know why I feel does this. There we go. And what I'm going to do is bring the lower part to the front and the higher part to the beginning. And now I'm just going to add some drums under this. All the drums I'm using in this video are going to be from my kit, my own personal stash of drums. So if you guys want that, just leave a comment, let me know, and I'll think about maybe dropping that. <laughs>
before I add this 808 pattern, I'm going to add a soft clip here to the master just to make sure nothing's distorting or going over zero decibels. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure you like the video. Make sure to subscribe. If you got any questions that I didn't cover in the video, hit me up in Instagram, link in the bio. Just DM me and let me know what you guys are wondering. I'll help you out. But that's all I got for now, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.